a very difficult question, actually, and about different nations. Yeah, I think it's more or less depend on individuality and on the personality. Um, uh, about um, talking about Russian way of playing Chopin, also there's many, many different pianists, many different people, uh, different ways of playing Chopin music. For example, from the past, the pianist from the past, uh, pianist Vladimir Sofronitsky, uh, played Chopin in his special, unique way. Or uh, winner of the first Chopin competition, Leva Borin, played in a completely different, totally different way. Um, well, comparing, for example, those two, uh, Sofronitsky was extremely dramatic and um, expressive. Oborin was much more, how can I say, um, in, I would describe, Apollonic way, you know, much more smooth, much more uh, objective, I would say, maybe not so personal. Uh, he was a wonderful pianist, but in, just in a totally different way. Um, and again, for example, Heinrich Neuhaus played Chopin when he was Polish, by the way, Polish and German, so it was his, his nature. Um, so um, uh, it's a difficult uh, question to answer, what is the Russian way. Also, there was lots of <coughs> influences on Russian pianists from Poland and from maybe from France somehow. Um, uh, so it's a great mixture of something. Um, I would say it has something to do with with um, talent of uh, this or that pianist. Again, talking about Sofranitsky, it has something to do and probably everything to do with his own personality. Uh, to me, he was kind of genius with lots of strange things and maybe not always as good as he could be, but essentially he was genius and he played Chopin in his own unique way. Um, well, it's a, still it's a project. I was talking with Stanislav Flechinsky. I hope it will, it will work. I would love to do it. Uh, Mazurkas, well, it was my idea and um, it's simply because I love this music so much. It's so mm, personal and so, well, one of the most beautiful music ever written for piano or for any other instrument. So um, it's just a um, personal choice and something which I really would love to do. Again, difficult to say. Um, I guess not one. But yes, I remember my uh, debut with Berlin Philharmonica a uh, long time ago. A very, very memorable concert, or um, concerts in Carnegie Hall, or Concert Gebau. Uh, there is something, it was really something special about the venue and also about um, performance. So I'm not very, usually I'm not very pleased with myself, um, but sometimes mm, I guess I was, so those concerts were, I guess, quite nice. <laughs> oh, very much so. Uh, the, mm, we met a long time ago for, uh, because we did a recording of two Sostakovich concertos in London for EMI. It was mm, quite a long time ago, I don't quite remember, 25 years or something, and uh, it was, I was very happy with the results, uh, and also it was a very successful record because it was on sale for many, many years, I think it's still on sale now, um, so it's not very often happened like that, and we became very, very good friends, and we played afterward a couple of times, so I'm very happy to, to see him again and to work with him again.